Welcome back to Andy's Guides. In today's video, we are going to show you how to import a project to Asana using a CSV, Excel, or Google Sheets. Let's begin. Now, the first thing that you need to do is to log in using your credentials. If this is your first time in Asana, I need you to click the sign up option. And from here, just follow the on-screen instructions and you're good to go. Importing a project into Asana using a CSV file, Excel, or Google Sheets is a straightforward process. I find this feature very useful when you want to bring in data from another project management tool or maybe start a new project with a predefined list of tasks. Now, I want you to go to the project that you are currently working with because there are two ways how you can import data here in uh, Asana. All right. Number one is I'm going to go to the uh, current project and that is how to import a project to Asana using a CSV. Now, you see here when setting up a new project, basically um, it can be time consuming to create each task manually. All right, so in the past, what I always do if I'm working, I'm working with multiple freelancers within a team or with a different clients, what I normally do is import a CSV, Excel, or Google Sheets that allows for bulk creation of tasks, saving me time and effort, especially if we're dealing with large projects containing multiple information. All right, so one option is go to the drop down menu here. Okay, there's going to be a project actions there should be an option for you to import a csv or via email all right so we're going to click on the csv first and from here you have all these options you can select a csv file to import if you click on this option you just have to locate the directory file or you can drag and drop it here whichever is comfortable for you okay so i'm going to click this and i'm going to locate the certain file now this is going to be my file and I'm going to import that here on Asana. Click on open. And just wait for it. Okay. Now, here's a preview of your Asana project. Okay. So you can have, you can just simply go to the project if you wanted. But of course, before you can do that, you might want to make some, a little bit of uh, changes if you wanted. Okay. All right. So. After making a changes, you might want to compare the uh, project information to the CSV. Okay, so I'm going to switch to the CSV that I have been created to make sure that all the information is correct. Okay, so after that, I'm going to, again, I, I feel like all the information is correct comparing that to the Asana. Now, I'm going to add some more changes here. You can have a single select field, multi-select field, and a text field. So it depends on your preferences. You can put in duets for all like this one all right you can add text task description section or column start date and of course you can put in some due date you can also put in some notes parent task and all of it all right so here same with the other ones you can put in as much as information as you can all right and again all you're gonna do once you've done that just click on continue to project and what will happen is you would be forwarded here it's important five tasks to how to import and you can continue using the project at any time okay now another option that you can work with is go to the home page or or simply click on this create button click on project all right and you can create a new project and you might want to import a spreadsheet instead if you don't want to of course create from csv all i'm gonna do is put in a project name while doing that, you see, I'm importing five tasks to another project, all right, simultaneously. We're going to explore a lot of options. Now, you have the option two. Is it going to be for private members? All the invited members can find and access this project. That means, for example, you're just experimenting with the data inside Asana. You might want to click that to private members because you don't want to mess with the original project or just here to experiment um check some settings to see if that would work but if you're confident that this is going to be the final draft you might want to uh make sure that everyone involved can access this project but for now i'm gonna make it to myself private to members now all they're gonna do is click the select file to import if you do that you would be you would of course go in the same process all right 
Now, I'm going to click on Google Sheets. There's going to be an arrow here, okay? But I'm going to switch over to my Google Sheets to make sure that I have the correct file or the sheets. Now, apparently, this is going to be the uh, sheet that I'm going to work with, right? And I want to make sure that it, it's going to be uh, the right project for in Asana, right? So I'm switch over to Asana and select this sheet. Now, if you do that, you would be forwarded to another um, page wherein this is going to be from Help Center. They suggest you use the CSV importer, all right? Now, the CSV is the same tool that we have worked with earlier. Remember that you using the Excel. Now, I'm going to switch to the Google Sheets. And from here, go to File. I'm going to Download. Go into download as CSV, PDF, uh, Microsoft Excel, and a lot more, all right? So it's all up to you. But in my case, I'm going to use the CSV. And just go back to the same step that we have done using the Microsoft Excel earlier, all right? Now, now similarly, you can go to the home page. This is another way for you to import a project, all right? You can click on this create button, right? Remember? You can go to projects and there's going to be a project option. You can click on the new project as well. Or there's going to be a plus button here. You can also click that. So you have multiple options for you to add or import a project. But the same thing is you can use a template to choose from library. You can start from scratch. But of course, you can simply import a spreadsheet here. All right. It will be the same process all over again. And another option that you can do is simply go back all right i'm going to go here uh, the project that i'm currently working with you can actually attach a file directly here you see this one you can attach a google drive uh file if the sheet is already here for example this one now this file is from my google drive okay so I'm, what i'm going to do is go to share and copy the link and of course paste that on my asana task now here i'm going to just add a specific link right click on the uh this one right here there's going to be a link here control k and that's going to be that this is going to be the drive you can also do that later here there's going to be a attach a file or paste an image there's also an option to insert, insert an image i'm going to attach a file From my computer and that's that click on that and it will be attached here it's like say my importing a project here in asana all right you can also do that by clicking on the google drive and once you do that all you're gonna do is just let asana access your google account all right and hover down to click on allow once you've done that you see you have imported a csv using the g drive link you have imported a file here at the bottom of the comment section we also have imported a uh, file here a dredev link linking to the imported file we can also add an, an object right here an image a link or even a table all right so there's a lot that you can work with importing a project i mean importing a project here in asana now of course using these important methods make it easier to leverage asana's capabilities while ensuring that all necessary project details are accurately captured and managed. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you again in the next video.